On our way back from the sale, um, Amy took the vehicle and I just noticed and thought about it. I have no way to record a video. And then Jamie, the, my, my sister-in-law's headrest on her car is perfect. It's perfect. The only part that isn't perfect is uh, when you pull it in front of people and they spit at you and give you the finger. That's not cool, but uh, <laughs> but that's that's for another video another time. Uh, I'm all done at the sale. I, I was wrong. I for, for uh, Tim Klemensik was right. I did not cease at 10. In fairness to him, I thought I had 11 until a minute ago when I looked at my list and I actually had 12. Now, uh, Dominic's down here. They're looking for a horse. I told them they could have... Um, our boy here, Rico Tubbs, if they want it, but that still only gets us to 11, so it looks like I'm going to lose uh, the over-under. Um, again, the, the sale's still going on, and we left very subdued. I, I got what we wanted. I told everybody we would get what we wanted today. Now, I did reserve the right for a flyer, which was Rico Tubbs at 11,000, and, and truthfully, depending on how we put everything together, um, Rico Tubbs may very well just go on the site. I'd like to keep a piece of them. I don't get a keep a lot of the, keep a lot of them anymore with you guys but what are we doing over here mark i'm just checking things out <laughs> behind the scenes but, cover. But, uh, <laughs> but um i i did like rico we all liked him you know here's not an expensive horse very very uh no no you can go ahead and play on top of what we're no, no go ahead we're good um rico tubbs was uh, a pretty reasonably priced horse i priced him at 30 and we ended up getting him for 11. His full brother, uh, by Father Patrick, Sonny Crockett. If you know the, you're, you're probably not, you're too young to remember Miami Vice. We talked about this earlier, yeah. yeah. So uh, Sonny Crockett and Rico Tubbs were the investigators in the, the show. Um, now the three Phillies that had sold in between, they're all Phillies, we weren't that good. But again, we're focused on the two brothers, the only two brothers in the family, Sonny Crockett, Rico Tubbs. Both, well, Sonny Crockett made Two hundred ninety-five thousand uh, dollars. Took a mark of fifty-three and four on a five-eighths. Pretty nice horse. Thirteen wins. This is his full brother. Decent family. If you want to look way back in the third dam, you get Pampered Princess. Um, you know, good family. Just a good family and nice colt. And one of those horses I felt maybe just fell a bit shy in the sale. Uh, remember we talked about the waves. He was never going to bring a ton of money, but I think he was. Uh, definitely discounted from what I thought he was worth. So, but that wasn't our first horse of the day. Now, was it? We get the Pacer Trotter, Mark. First what horse of the day? It was, yeah. uh, where are we at? 380? Jailbird Jog, yeah, it was the, right? Uh, um, so many of you had emailed me and said, Anthony, did, did you notice there's a lot of Pacers in your Trotter uh, in 380? Well, of course I did. This is the way that, uh, so the way I'd asked um, Julie at Concord, mm -hmm. she said the person that owned, used to own Jiggy Jog, owned the mare, and this is how he had bred them. Okay. He thought that they crossed well, the way that they worked. This is a tactical landing, dual eligible. Um, Philly, very, very important. Philly, out of an SJ's caviar named Miss Don Finucci. Now, Miss Don Finucci hasn't done a whole lot, but her brother certainly did. Don Finucci Zet. Now this horse, as, as I was told earlier, was the favorite. Mm -hmm. Mark, just yep. statistician, was the favorite in this year's Elite Lop. Yes fell short but was the favorite in this year's elite lop top horse over there the top horse over there currently or at the time i think at the time was, yeah. at the time of the elite lop was the top horse in europe and that is don finucci zet who is the uncle for all intents and purposes of jailbird jog so we got a tactical landing filly out of a sister to the best horse in one of the best horses in europe the best horse at the time, according to Mark McKelvey, and he usually he usually knows his stuff. One of the best horses in Europe at the time. Uh, then we got Rico, Rico Tubbs. We threw him in there. Now, um, as I was looking at horses today, I had a number of people out there asking us for pacers and asking us if you know are you going to buy any other pacers? And obviously, you know that we we generally buy trotters, but that doesn't mean we won't buy pacers. And we had tried to buy a perfect sting the first night and the second night for our, well, the first night for our bucket. We ended up filling that up with the um, Tall Dark Stranger and the the Sweet Lou, Philly. So we didn't really need another pacer. I wasn't on the lookout for one. It really, I said in the broadcast, there was a horse that really caught my eye. And the only horse that I really wanted before the start of a session that I got so far in Lexington was Perfect Thought. Right? Right, yep. Cam? Exactly. Exactly. The only one 
that I've got. The one of the horses on night one did not get them. Uh, day two did not get the horse I wanted. Got horses we liked that made perfect sense, but did not get that pick. Today we did 448 perfect thought. Uh, now, now Ron, one of our newer clients, had come down here and he wanted to buy into the top bucket of Pacers only. He wanted Pacers only. He said, Anthony, is there any chance you got any other Pacers on the radar? I said, Ron, it's your lucky day. I think I do, and I think we can buy her. And as the day wore on, I liked her more and more and more. And then I asked Jody Jameson after. I knew I knew True Blue Lindy, Mark, mm -hmm. but you didn't. You didn't fill me in on True Blue Lindy. You must know this horse also. Double J, they had that's that right. One, right. Jody Jameson had True Blue Lindy, and I didn't know that till after. To be fair, I was looking at the second dam as being Big Jim, it, it, Big Jim's mother, and then in the first dam you have True Blue Lindy, who who uh, paced him forty nine and two, took a mark of fifty and won fifty one and two as a two year old. Uh, by Always Be Mickey, pretty nice horse, but I couldn't really place him. And it wasn't until I ran into Jody later, he said, you bought our horse, our, our, the brother to our horse, or the sister to our horse. And I said, what, which one are you talking about? He said, True Blue Lindy, that was our horse. We sold him at two, he's a really, really nice <coughs> horse. So, um, there you go. Uh, perfect Thought is a perfect sting, Philly, April 23rd. We did a video of her today, right? You showed it? Did a video of this Philly, we uh, certainly yeah, did. Absolutely. Yeah, we certainly did. Uh, really, really nice sort of filly, and it was easy to pick her up, and Ron was was pretty happy. So I don't think this filly will fit in a bucket um, at, for a number of reasons. First off, Ron wanted a bigger chunk of the filly, so that means she didn't she couldn't fit in a bucket to begin with. Secondly, we already had two pacers for the pacer bucket. So you may actually see, after tonight, Perfect Thought and my little flyer, Rico Tubbs, end up on the site. Now, I am going to keep half of Rico, if you don't mind. I like him. I think I'd like to keep half of them. Now, uh, of all the Phillies selling today, I told you in the broadcast today, we had 55 trotting Phillies selling. We had our eye on a number of them. We picked up uh, the Don Finucci Zet horse that we wanted, um, hip, number three, eight, uh, hip number 380. He was really, really happy with, um, with that pickup of that trotting Philly. Uh, and then to finish off the day, we had three Phillies in order. Uh, Degas, number 473. Number 411, the FaceTime Bourbon Philly, and number 415. And I told Amy, I don't think we're going to get anywhere near the Chapter 7. The FaceTime Bourbon is Kentucky only. I don't know if I'm sold on that. Although, I said, if you're going to ask me about the top three Phillies, the one that I think we're most likely to get, the one that, quite frankly, I want the most, is the Chimpanzee Philly. Number 473, Degas. And this is the, the Philly out of the Donato Hanover Mare. To be quite fair, 0 for 3 on the front end for the most part. Uh, Armored Dove is adequate, is an okay racehorse, but not a horse that's going to prop up a, a family. So for the most part, the front end's a little light. You don't have to look further than that. Uh, Possess the Will, A Plum Hanover in the second dam, and then in the third dam, world champion Algiers Hall. This was an incredibly good looking filly. What I would say, above average looking uh, chimpanzee filly. I took some pictures. We're going to post those on Facebook later on. And we did do a, did we did a video on this filly. I don't know if it was today though, was it? 473, you said we did do a video for sure of this filly. We did for sure because Cam went and got the camera and you come back and he said we did all the videos already. <laughs> so number 473, Degas, was our last pickup of the day and quite frankly, possibly the last pickup of the sale. The sun is killing me here. Um, Cam and Kurt, no, it's Cam. Cam wins. Um... Uh, quite possibly the last pickup of the sale now if we do get anything it'll be an Ontario bread I told everybody we were looking at Ontario breads we were bidding on Ontario breads we just didn't get any and if we get any tomorrow they will be outside of any buckets so as we buy an Ontario bread tomorrow if you like it uh, let's say what time's the sale is One Thursday four. afternoon yeah. I would say uh, later in the evening like 8 o'clock I'll get Wendy to put it up but again that's neither here nor there we'll figure that out as we go along but for right now Four horses today, the total was 12. I did go over by two, but I think that might be changed a little bit because the pacing filly, uh, number four, four, eight, um, number four, four, eight, perfect thought. She is gonna be outside of a bucket because Ron wanted the filly and uh, wanted a big enough chunk of the filly that she isn't gonna fit in a bucket. And then the other one is obviously our boy Rico Tubbs. There's no need for him to be in a bucket. If Dominic wants him, fine. If he doesn't, he'll likely be up today or tomorrow also. So we will fit those 10 horses I talked about. We will fit them into buckets for everybody. I'll move. Over. I did have to look at how everything played out today, move them around, and then uh, and then put them in their proper place. Now that wasn't the only big news. 
of today at all. Arrowhead Hanover, a winner in the Keystone Classic, goes out with a daily double win. He won in Delaware in the Standard Bread, and he won the Keystone Classic. Uh, are any one of those grade one stakes, by the way, uh, Mark, the Keystone Classic? They, or? Will, they will not be, but well, they will be. Would you call them a grade, what would you call, how would you grade the Standard what Bread and the, the Keystone person, Classic? the person, the Standard Bread? Uh, standard Bread was 50,000, and the other one was 39. I think it had to be 75 to be a grade three. So we're but, not even graded? No, it's, like, a, it's called a listed steak. A listed steak. So nice way get, of putting a crappy the, steak, I guess. black type. Oh, we get the black type, we just don't yeah. get any many letters. It's not graded, yeah. yeah. I don't like that. We can change that after. <laughs> <laughs> grade, grade four. <laughs> grade, we grade got four. a grade four steak we went today. <laughs> you guys will know if you're watching the broadcast, you know. And the horse that run away today, 105,000. The one that got loose twice at preferred. I want to believe we played a big role. We should get a cut. <laughs> we should get a cut, We yeah. should get dinner. So I was super excited with what we've done in Lexington. I told you guys I was going to be very surgical. We are done for the most part in Lexington. If you're out there and you're saying, oh, Anthony, uh, I live in Ohio and I want to get another horse, probably not going to happen. Uh, if we are here for Dave, I did talk Amy into coming back down on Thursday night after the sale with the kids. So we're going to spend Friday going to look at the babies out at... Uh, out at Haley Moore's place. I gotta contact her and ask her if that's all right. I'm sure it is. And then um, we're gonna watch Memento Mori race Friday afternoon. Go to the sale Friday night. Probably won't stay for a lot of time. Depends again where these Ontario breads are that we were looking for, that we were hoping for, and if we can pick them up at a reasonable price. If that doesn't happen, then again, that's that. But as of right now, as far as the buckets are concerned, we're shutting her down. Got everything, we got everything we need to uh, make everything work in the bucket. So I will rearrange everything for everybody and let you guys know, hopefully tonight, if you give me about an hour, what time we got guys? 6.40, I don't have time before dinner. I can do it at dinner though. So hopefully we can have the, the buckets rearranged for everybody tonight so you can get a look at what you're getting, what you're not getting. And then um, of course, if you are a bucket holder of any kind, you are gonna have at least 24 hours from when we open them up for uh, for you to pick out whatever horses you'd like if there's extra shares so be it I will tell you right now that the pacing bucket is sold out so there will be no shares available Do they get on a the physical bucket or is it no. A bucket? no it's, it's more of a uh, just a metaphorical bucket oh, okay. yeah you could call it pale if you wanted I just thought bucket made more sense uh, bowl but again it just seems wrong bucket was a ranger um, a tub a tub now again I don't like the tub I like the bucket well, we have tubs now yeah, but I, I like the buckets. So, um, How much space is in the bucket? Is it like a it depends. Bucket? It depends on the on the horse and the price. So we'll have those all rearranged for you guys tonight. And, and as I said, the, the pacing one is sold out. You're going to have to wait for the private market. I, I haven't seen any videos drift in today of people wanting out of that pacing, uh, the pacing bucket that wanted in. So that looks like it's going to be filled up. The trotting one will have some available. And I'll tell you what horses are in uh, the high-end uh, trotting one tonight. We have a number of horses we bought that would fit the bill. Number of horses that I really like. And then of course we have three trotting fillies, three trotting colts. We'll see how that plays out also. So with that, I'm gonna let you go. Congratulations to all, one great sale, but congratulations to all my partners on Arrowhead Hanover. He raced tremendous, great job by Tim and Ronnie Wren. And of course, thanks to Curtis and his crew right here. We got Cam Wade. We got uh, Mark McKelvey and Curtis and Jamie. We're all going to go out to dinner tonight. Curtis, we're the last broadcast tomorrow. I was trying to convince him to stay for Friday, but there's really no reason now. So um, the last broadcast will be tomorrow, and we will uh, we'll be signing off. So a great Lexington. As I said, a very subdued, surgical uh, approach to the sale, and I think it worked out very, very well for us. So take care. I hope you had a wonderful day following along, and we'll talk to you all very soon.